Hi guys, in this video we are going to talk about calling functions with arguments. Now, when we created a function, uh, say function my function, and we wrote this brackets, you might have been wondering what this bracket was. When we actually called a function, say my function, we also make uh, needed to have this brackets in order to different shape between a bra uh, function and a variable. Now what what uh, what do you actually type inside these brackets? Now they are called arguments. Now when you call a function in JavaScript you can uh, pass along some values to it. Okay, uh, I'll show you how to do it and what the hell that means now. But these values are called arguments or even parameters. I just call them arguments. Okay, and you can use these functions, uh, you can use these uh, argument values within your function. So in my last video I talked about uh, using return and creating like an add function. Say uh, I create a function called add function. Okay, so what that does is, okay I need the curly brackets, yeah OCD uh, so what you could do is say x uh, var z equals x plus y and you could return the value of z so that when you call this function and you could do like a document or write or alert it's going to return uh, x plus y the two numbers added together now what if you want say for example you can use say like x is going to be 3 and y equals going to be 5 when you do that, this add function is only going to output or execute a 3 plus 5 and you want to change the x and y every time. Now, in order to do that, you can use the arguments. So, you say add function and you write x and y. Now, these two are actually uh, the two arguments you want to pass through to your function and you separate them with a comma so you'll see what I mean say for example uh, I say var add equals add function okay now when I call this add function I need to pass in two uh, values inside this brackets so that this function works because this function requires two arguments x and y so let's say uh, 20 and 55 okay and uh, document dot write add because I uh, defined this function as a variable add all I need to write is add now let's save our work and refresh there we go the number is going to be 75 that is because we have called a function add function which is defined over here and uh, it passed through two uh, parameters or arguments 20 and 55 and because that's uh, defined as x and y over here it is uh, what do you call it passed through or added to or the values are used in this code so z is going to be equals 20 plus 55 and it's going to return z which in this case is going to be 75 so when I use document write add the add has a value of 75 so it's going to uh, come out with 75. Let's change these values. Let's say to small numbers 5 and 3. Now it's supposed to output 8 and there we go. It does it. So uh, in practice what you could do is actually have like uh, text fields or I don't know uh, if you want to make a calculator you can have nine numbers and when you click on it uh, it's going to pass through that specific number say I click to 3 X will be 3 and say I click to 5 Y is going to be 5 and if I press I don't know add the add button and the equals button it's going to call this add function and it's going to uh, output 8 or whatever number you added together uh, into that text box or alert or whatever you, you want it to uh, output so that was uh, using arguments in JavaScript and with a combination of the return statement uh, we talked about in our previous video 
Is that it? Yeah, previous video. And uh, the fun JavaScript functions are really useful. Functions are like one of the most useful thing in JavaScript. There's other things that are useful, but I use functions a lot in JavaScript. It's really useful. We can uh, basically just like write code and we can call it anytime. Yeah, so that's uh, calling functions with arguments.